Hello everybody once again, my name is Juan John John and welcome to another unboxing video on my vlog channel which consists of one vlog, a college assignment, and a review of a book and with this two unboxing videos. Um, yeah, I'm not good at this vlog thing. But anyways, I want to talk to you about some thing I order and I'm pretty sure I know what it is but I haven't actually opened the box yet. Here it is, tape, unopened, and shipping label over here, and I'm not gonna show you my address this time. I'm gonna remember that, but yeah, this is something I ordered. Oh, and I also ordered something else. I ordered this as well. This is Halo Original on the PC. Why did I order it? Because I discovered red versus blue is still a thing that's happening. Now, that's not bad, but it's like, I discovered Red vs. Blue when I was getting started around early 2004, and it started in 2003, and it's like, Red vs. Blue is over a decade old. In fact, Red vs. Blue is closer to being two decades old than it is one decade old. It kind of blows my mind, because I feel like everything from that era has died. Like, there's nothing from the early 2000s era internet wise that is still relevant or still going on but nope red versus blue still a-okay and rooster teeth if anything has expanded into shit like ruby and like they are doing like stuff um live action like they did immersion which was like testing out stiff from video games live action but now they're making like actual live action series they made a fucking movie which i heard is pretty good i still haven't checked it out but it just it, yeah but that, that it just I just read vs. Blue still a thing, and I decided, you know what, I'm going to rewatch the whole series, going to do some reviews on it, and I decided, maybe when I'm done, I'll go and I'll replay the original Halo, and um, this guy called Ray CK, I don't remember what his full YouTube channel's name is, but he does some really fucking quality work, I'll link him down in the description, he does like, um, videos like, um, he did one that was like Halo 5, what happened, or stuff like, um, Mass Effect X amount of years later, and just, he does fucking top quality stuff. Like, anytime he uploads a video, I watch it immediately, and then feel like my own work is trash compared to his. Also, holy fucking shit, Jesus Christ. God, Tumblr was right. Faces are like push-up bras for beards. Wait, no, what? No, what? That's not... Okay, yeah, I can't. I can't English. So, yeah, let's open this thing up. I think I know what it is, but there's a chance it could be something else. But, I mean, I got some fucking email saying that it's going to arrive today, so... Yeah. And we're going to take our trusty unboxing slash murdering knife. Look at this thing. This thing is great. I can kill a man with this. And also open boxes. So, we're just... We're, we're going to cut through the tape... And we're going to cut towards us because we are intelligent human beings. Don't do that. Do the opposite. Cut away from you. He says as he cuts in his direction. God, I'm an idiot. So yeah, what do we got? We got... We got some stuff. Look at this. Packing stuff. So you got a return label for ThinkGeek that has my address on it. I'm not showing you it. We got an exclusive Think Beak, Think, Think Beak, Think, Think Geek sticker. Cool. And oh, here we are. So, a while back, you might have seen, um, I heard this primarily through, are these in order? They were in, no, they were not in order. Think Geek, why? But yeah, you might have heard there was going to do a limited run LP of a certain series that I'm a big fan of, even though I barely started playing it. Um, but think, be, think, uh, think they did, um, okay, so they were going to do LPs of this one game I'm a big fan of. Well, I'm a fan of the lore. I just only started playing the game on my LP channel. And if you've checked out my LP channel, you know for certain what series I'm talking about. But they were going to do these exclusive LPs that were going to be stuck to a thousand exclusively in European areas. And it's like, why though? Do you hate money? Well, I'm not sure if there was like plans behind the scenes or anything, but the very day or the day afterwards, ThinkGeek sent me an email saying, 
Look at all this cool shit we got. And you know what? We're gonna be rolling out a couple of different vinyls. What vinyls, in fact? Well, there's a strain. There's two part Stranger Things vinyls, vinyls, and they also have vinyls by Dark Souls. Oh, this thing. Uh, yep, that's the fucking. That is the cover art. Dark Souls original game soundtrack, as you can see there. I'm gonna put this box on the ground because it kind of sort of balancing it on there. Ah, oh, and that looks fucking good. Dark Souls. Okay. We got some fucking great art. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, you can see my computer screen in the background. Well, uh, technically, it's just a television that I'm using as a computer screen. Oh, where the fuck's the remote control so we can turn it off? Get the glare out of here. There we go. No more glare. So yeah. Uh, you can see yeah, now. You can see my fucking computer, my phone screen. But yeah, that's the exclusive art, all nice and saran wrapped. And of course, we're gonna ruin the resellability value. I'm not sure why you would resell this if you're gonna buy vinyls. You know, fucking keep them. But anyways, we're gonna open this thing up. But yeah. So anyways, this is a vinyl of Dark Souls, a series which I'm a big fan of, mostly because Vadi Vidya videos just enthralled me to the point where I bought all of the games despite my computer at the time not being able to run it, and now that I have a computer that can run it, I've decided, you know what, I should sit down and play these fucking games. And I beat in number one, I'm currently going through number two, which is... Some rough times are being had, but yeah. So here we go. This is a look, a little bit less reflective look at the back. And okay, another thing I like, Thinkic. I mean, a lot of places where they do exclusive stuff, they'll do like they'll have like a sticker or something. But no sticker here. It's just straight up, just the LP. Oh uh, yeah, got some more fucking good art. I just I love Dark Souls. Is like box art and shit like dark souls's official art is fucking great so is the fan art but just seriously this shit looks fantastic and now for the piece of resistance the vinyls themselves so we have okay this is a nice little sleeve as you can see there we got the information and the tracks these are two part vinyls so we got a side a side b and a side c and a side d or are they just called... Oh, well, they might just be called Side A and Side B Disc 2 or some shit. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. So we got nice blue wispy thing. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but we got, like, veins and wisps and stuff. And I'm not sure how it sounds, but it probably sounds pretty good. I mean... Honestly, I don't buy vinyls to play them in all reality. I buy vinyls because I just, I like the way they fucking look. I have a couple of vinyls. I have, um, I have the Tales of Aletherion, which you guys saw. I also have a Hotline Miami, um, full soundtrack. They did a vinyl for Hotline Miami 2, which included Hotline Miami 1 and 2, I should say. Which included the whole, well, I mean, I'm not sure if they did a, a vinyl, a Kickstarter for a vinyl of Hotline Miami 1. But the, the tier I bought it included both vinyls, so it might be just that they did the whole album, or they just did, like, album two, I don't remember. But yeah, and I also got, I was part of this website called Vinyl, Vinyl Me Please, which is a pretty good website. It sends you, every month they get an artist, and they make an exclusive limited edition web um, vinyl. So if you're into vinyls, check them out. They have some pretty good music, and they also include um, digital downloads of their music, which is pretty cool too, but yeah. And come on out. Yeah, there we go. And yep, side C, side D. And it's little protective paper shit. And yep, wispy wispy. Ridged vinyl. Vinyl. Listen to it on wax. So yeah, these things. Oh, I just. There's something about vinyls. Like, I like to collect, like, physical copies of shit I buy if it's available, just because there's something about. Like, I, digital, I'm completely fine with digital. I'm a PC gamer, I have been completely fine with digital medium for a while, but there's just something about owning, like, a case or a game, or, like, fuck, even, like, Persona 5, I have the Steelbook Edition, and if, you know, if I had a chance and the funds, I would probably go and buy the Special Box Edition, just because I fucking love Persona, and I want that. And there's just something about physical media that just, it feels good to own. 
And here we go with Dark Souls 2. So we got the cover art for that. And one of the bosses, the um, Old Iron King, if I'm not mistaken, is his name. I, I fought him. I fought him with a friend. Well, no, with an NPC friend person. But yeah. Just, oh, this is great. Yeah, Dark Souls 2. I'm a bit iffy on it. There have been um, some places like the Iron Keep and the fucking Royal Rat Authority. God. But I beat them both. Unfortunately, the Royal Riot Authority, the footage got corrupted. So despite the fact that I beat him, I aren't. I am unable to upload the video. So yeah, that's... You're going to have to take my word and the fact that I have the achievement on my Steam page. But yeah, Royal Riot Authority can go fuck himself. But yeah, this is just another LP for Dark Souls 2. And come on, give you a better look without all of the plastic reflective shit. There we go. There we go. That is it. Pretty cool image. The old Iron King. I'm assuming that's what his name is. Actually, the oh yeah, old Iron King. It, that's his. He, it has the same theme right there. And then, yeah, we got. Dark Souls 2. You know, I'm unsure if I would have preferred them to have, like, Scholar of the First Sin underneath. Because it's like, hmm. Because in Dark Souls 1, it's like, prepare to die is like, that's the tagline of the PC version of the game. And it's like, I'm not sure if I would like that on in, on the LP. But for here, I think I would have liked it if it, like, said, like, Scholar of the First Sin or anything. And it says, go beyond death. And actually, did it say anything on here? Yeah, okay, no, it says, yeah, prepare to die, which I guess, yeah, is a little, like, second line. Oh, there's a bit of damage on here. Nah, I don't care. It still looks fucking great. But yeah, go beyond death, it says there, which, I mean, that goes without saying. You're an undead, you're constantly dying. Ooh, that's some good fucking, that looks fucking cool. So, um... Hmm, weird. So you have two characters who I'm not sure who they're supposed to be. I have not met them in my playthrough yet. Um, I'm at Drang Lake Castle, so I'm not sure if they're like uber bosses or they're like secret optional bosses or whatever. But we got what appears to be actually that kind of, yeah, that's a straight, that kind of looks like Yorm, if anything. No, like, his weapon's not right, because Yorm wields a giant fuck-off machete, but yeah, that's like a giant wearing a crown, and it's like, yeah, I'm getting some Yorm vibes, and we got this cool armor fucker. I don't know who this is, but he looks cool. I mean, I may not enjoy Dark Souls 2 as much as Dark Souls 1, but I gotta say, the soundtrack is on fucking point. Music is fucking great. So we got, yet again, ba ba da da Okay, so... <laughs> If you could come out, please, that would be appreciated. There we go. So, of course, protective coating, paper shit, and we're gonna get... Okay, so out you come. Oh, 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 oh. So, yeah, we got Dark Souls 2. For the fuck's sake. Don't you dare fall off my fucking knee. You, no! What did I just tell you? Dark Souls 1 was nearly not as much fussy as you are. Ah, so yeah, that's the LP. It's fucking blood. And it has, like, little, like, deeper, darker, like, bloodstained things on it. But yeah, looks fucking cool. I don't, I, as I said before, I collect vinyls just to collect them. So I don't, act, I've never actually researched how to handle them. If people who actually know about vinyls are probably screaming their head off saying, don't fucking touch it that way. Put it down, you heathen. So back into the protective paper casing you go. If you'd like to comment down below with um, the proper handling of vinyls, please feel free to let me know. Because even though I collect them, I know jack shit. <laughs> I am a very low tier collector of things. I'm not even really a collector, I'm more of a hoarder if anything. So yeah, and then we have side DNC, which comes in its own protective little case. And da 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 da. Guess what's in here? It's more Dark Souls. Ah. Yeah, 
And that's Dark Souls 2. But wait. No, seriously, wait. I need to put this back. So, yeah. But wait, there's more. What? I, I think I... Hmm. Uh, it, uh, I was gonna do, like, a fucking dramatic voice thing, but, nah. But wait, there's more. See, this cannot be done. Last, but certainly not least, and I kind of wish it wasn't last. I kind of wish they had done, like, a Bloodborne LP or something. Because if there's a game that would fucking fit having an LP made of it, it would be Bloodborne. I would buy that in a second. But yeah, there's more. There is one more, and I'm pretty sure you guessed what it is. Dark Souls 3. Embrace the darkness. And I just realized I haven't taken the plastic covering off, so... It's... Highly reflective and you can't see shit, so let's do that. No. The tired and true teeth method of ripping off plastic wrapping. Gonna fucking chipmunk it. Okay, come on. There we go. Yeah, it's not taste good. So we're gonna do that. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. There we go. Okay, so there we go. We got the unkindled one. The Canon Unkindled one in the forefront. And then we got a nice little look of the initial starting area, including Firelink, with the subtitle Embrace the Darkness. Pretty cool looking. And, oh, that's fucking good. Oh, and I know this. Okay, I know I've said I haven't played the game, but what I mean is, like, I've started the games multiple times, and this is the first time I've actually been going through the game. Like, I'm on hour, what hour am I on? 29 of Dark Souls 2. But yeah, I recognize this is one of the, if I'm not mistaken, this is a very early part of the game. But yeah, it's where you meet the first of the, like, Angel Halberd Beyblade Knights, and fuck that guy. I remember dying to that motherfucker so many times, but yeah, just... I fucking love Dark Souls' is official artwork. It's just, it's so fucking good. So yeah, that's Dark Souls 3. And of course, guess what we're doing next? We're going to take a look at the LPs. So LPs. There we go. The original game soundtrack. In its protective case. Protective wax plastic paper covering. And this, of course, is more... Okay, oh, this is fucking good. Okay, this is clear with some, like, smoke to signify, like, I'm guessing, like, ashes or the dark. And can I just say that I love see-through shit. Like, my Game Boy was one of the see-through ones, and it was fucking great. Like, if we can get, like, a see-through Switch, that would be fucking phenomenal, actually. A see-through Switch would be fucking great. But yeah, we got this. This, oh, this is my favorite one. Partly because Dark Souls 3 is some of my favorite music, and partly because just, it's just, it looks like smoke, ash, like, just, it's clear. Like, clear electronics is my aesthetic. It's like my version of, like, lazy game reviewers, like, obsession with wood. Like, give me clear shit, and we're, oh, wait, no, I'm trying to fold that backwards. No, bad Juan, do not enter the box. But yeah, go back in here, and yeah, just good. It looks good. Now, how does it sound, you're probably asking yourself. I don't know, because I, I literally unbox, unboxing it live. And you know what? I don't care. I don't actually own a vinyl player. I No, that's not right. I own a... I Somewhere in this room is a one of those shitty suitcase vinyl players that costs like... A hundred dollars, but I got mine for like forty because like Amazon was having a sale or some shit. But yeah, that's somewhere in this room. Um, maybe I'll try the vinyls out. I don't know. But yeah. So we have that, and then we have disc number two with side C and D, and eh, not as much of dark black smoke texture. It's a bit less. It's a bit more hazy. More. It's all overall dark. 
rather than being just dark in certain places. But just, yes. Oh, look at that. 33 and one-third rotations per minute. Yeah, okay. Oh, this just... It's see-through. It's like, the other ones are like see-through, but they're kind of like opaque see-through. So like, you can kind of see through it, but at the same time you can't. But these are more like see-through. They're more like old school see-through Game Boy type deals. Just, oh, they look so fucking good. So yeah, that's been... Where the fuck are the other two? There you are. Let's see if we can do some cool shot with all three of them. And that's it. It's been the Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3 LP, um, fucking vinyls. Why do I keep saying LPs? That's a, that's a term, I think that means vinyls? Or is that like something else? I don't know. But that's just, oh, these are all so fucking good. Oh, yes. This cost me, um, how much did this cost me? This cost me, with shipping and everything, I want to say like 110, 120 bucks. Fucking worth it. Just, oh, these are great. I'm going to put a link down below where you can find them. And no, it's not an affiliate link. I don't think Think Geek does affiliate shit. I'm not exactly sure, but yeah. These are fucking great. If you're a fan of Dark Souls and you're a fan of vinyls and you're a fan of collecting vinyls or collecting vinyls with really good fucking music, I got three for you that could go there. And they also have a vinyl for Stranger Things. Now, I haven't actually watched Stranger Things, I know, shocking, I'm pretty sure everyone at this point has, I'm planning on doing so, but yeah, they also have a vinyl for Stranger Things, and I don't know if they have any more, those are the two I saw, but yeah. Dark Souls vinyls, they're fucking great, if you're a fan of the series, buy them. I don't know how they sound, and I personally don't give a shit, I just like collecting shit, because I have a hoarding problem that I am, that's masquerading as a collection thing, but yeah, just fucking yes so um yeah that's been me juan john john this has been juan more unboxing um like this video if you like it dislike it if you did comment subscribe ring the bell and if you like this consider checking out my lp channel where i'm doing a let's play of dark souls 2 currently and i have a full let's play of dark souls 1 after i beat dark souls 2 planning on doing dark souls 3 and then playing bloodborne and if you um Oh yeah, also I have scripted content where I do um, reviews of video games and anime. I have, or, well, I'm thinking of branching out on just, um, instead of doing um, reviews on that stuff, I think I'm branching out onto other, like, just general, like, video things. Like, um, I'm going to do the first season of Red vs. Blue. I'm just going to chug my way through the first, through, um, up to whatever season, you know, if it's this season or, if, you know, I don't finish in time, then I'll just do the complete season they're currently airing. And, you know what? Might be a review of Halo incoming in the future, after Dark Souls, or maybe a Let's Play, just gonna play through it to experience it. And there is this mod that is a total, like, overhaul mod, like a, sort of like, um, a Black Mesa of sorts for it. If you know what Black Mesa is, it's the total conversion mod for turning Half-Life 1 into a better engine. There's something like that for Halo 1, so I'm thinking of taking a look at that. Um, Mr. Ray Civic, or whatever he's called, did it on his channel. Again, I'll link him down below. He's a great fucking YouTuber. Watch his shit. But yeah, if y'all like this stuff, watch my LP and scripted stuff. So yeah, that's been me for the day. That's been a thing. And um, I hope you enjoyed. So I shall see y'all later.